All right, we got a little proofread on our Adams Family Gold Project real quick. So I, I released that initial gameplay video, and I, you know, that was good. I had a good game one in my eyes. And then uh, Yancey put in the comments that I was getting an award that I shouldn't get. And I was like, eh, I don't think so. Let me look into it. And I looked into it, and I came over here, and I checked all the switches. I'm like, nah, everything's good. Nothing's wrong with that probably in the code and then I looked up the code for Adams Family Gold and it is actually different than the regular Adams Family you do get more awards for things and stuff like that so I just kind of wrote it off it's like yeah nah it's not that and uh, then somebody else said it. I was like ah, that's two people now okay and so I looked into it a little bit deeper and I'm like okay well everything's working right the balls everything is registering and then I looked into it even further, and I figured out what was going on. I'll go over what that is, how I fixed it, and then we'll we'll check it out and make sure everything's good. So they, these guys are correct. I appreciate you guys. You know, y'all are right. And um, this is what the deal was. So I was getting this super jackpot reward right here. I was getting this when I was hitting this ramp. So I was hitting the right ramp, but I was getting the left ramp award. Now, why would it do that if all the switches are working and everything's good? Well, I'll show you. So, you got four switches on this ramp. This is your right ramp entrance switch, and this is your right ramp exit switch. This is your left ramp entrance switch. This is your left ramp exit switch. What it does is this says you're here, and this says you're leaving. Same thing here, you're here, you're leaving. So what was happening is I was entering here, I was here, you could see I was here, but it didn't know I was leaving until over here. So when it, it doesn't know I'm leaving until over here, I might as well have come in this door. So I might as well have showed up over here even though I showed up over here, if that makes sense, best I can describe it. And so all I had to do was adjust this switch right here. It did work, it was working fine, and it would actually register with the ball sometimes, but every fourth or fifth or every so often, it would miss it. It was just marginally adjusted. So how did I fix it? Well, I reached in here just like this, and I just bent the blade just a little bit more, making it a little bit more sensitive. And what was the result of that? It registers every time now. So that's simple, but yeah, I mean, that's how easy it is to have something off with these games and people can't appreciate it. I try to deal with homeowners all the time. I mean, these people buy these games and they, yeah, they got the money and they can get it done and they can make it happen. But then they get this thing and it's like the simplest thing is like a major ordeal. You know, so you got to kind of be a pinball person if you're going to own one of these things. I hate to tell you. And if you're not one, you need to become one pretty quick. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to get it straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a game on it just to close the loop on this because I don't want to have anything out here half-assed. I'm going to tell you something. These videos are real. They're not manufactured. I don't build any hype. If I tell you I'm playing something for the first time, then you can believe it. You can take it to the bank. If I tell you I'm throwing the switch on something for the first time, you can take that to the bank too. I don't need to build any hype or any drama. I don't care about any of that. I'm just trying to truly document whatever it is I go through on each game, and I've always done that because that's what's real. That's that's whatever you're going through. That's my interest in, in documenting this stuff in general. You know, if it's bad, I want to show that it's bad, and then I'll, I'll fix it. If I'm having a good experience and it's going well, I want to show that too. That's good for me too. So, um, you know, no hype, no drama. This is just the reality. So we'll see how it kicks around now. What should happen is when I make this shot during multiball, I should not get the Super Jackpot Award. And I'm going to preface it that way because I might not hit that shot. So... We know that works. That's not a problem. We just want to make sure we don't get awarded for it, and we want to verify that it's working back there. All right, let's see if it's problem solved. I'm pretty sure it is, but no. I like to verify. Right here.
definitely registering both switches on there now, so that's good. Things timing's going to be off for a little bit because I had to keep uh, flipping the flippers when the ball was coming out on that first play. And that's something you got to remember. These are first, second plays. These aren't like, oh, I've been dialing this thing in for a week. <laughs> but still, it's always good to get some uh, observations, you know. if I can hit the shot. So that's working right at least. I didn't get the super jackpots because I shouldn't have gotten it right. But that's good. Fly off the platform there. All right, so it's looking good.
three times. Things timing sucks, but I think that's from when I was having to flip the flippers that first game when the ball was stuck. So there's the time and all. It'll learn it.
All right, that, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. So, you know, everything's working right now.